What's up, YouTube? So one of my subscribers asked me, you know, what options I could live with and what options I could live without. So I thought I would make this quick video to kind of talk about all the different options that were available and what I think I could live with and live without and, uh, you know, what you may be able to live with and live without. So anyway, so my car has every option you could get except for the glass roof. And so the options that were available in 2013 and 14 on the GT500 were the SVTPP or performance package, uh, the track package. Let's see, you could get the Recaros, you get the electronics package, and um, let's see, Shaker Pro, and a Stripe Delete. And so the options that you want are going to depend on what you're going to do with the car. So, you know. If you're only going to use it for drag racing, you would want just the base car uh, because all the other stuff is going to add weight and add features that you really don't need. So the performance package, that's going to add the Bilstein adjustable shocks, which are great. I like them for me. Uh, you know, I can put it in normal mode when I'm on these rough back roads like this and uh, and it just, it's, it's nice. But then when I want a stiffer ride, I can put it in sport mode and, and I've got that. So best of both worlds there. Um, it's going to add a larger sway bar to the front and it's going to help it to corner better. You get the performance package wheels, which I believe look better, uh, but they are the same size as the uh, stamps. I'm not sure about the weight though, if they weigh any more or if it's the same. Uh, you get the same tires, same size, uh, I believe it's 285, 35, 20 on the rear and a 265, 40, uh, 19 on the front. and. The car comes from the factory, however it's optioned, it comes with uh, the Goodyear Eagle F1 supercar tires. Uh, mine has the uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sports, which I, I really like. And then the performance package also comes with uh, different brake shields. They're supposed to uh, help direct more air to the brakes and keep... Uh, So anyway, now we'll move on to the track package, which my car does have, and I really would rather it didn't because it, it is going to add a fair amount of weight, and all it is is extra cooling. So you have the rear differential cooler, and I'll put, put a picture of that here. You have the transmission cooler, and you have the... Um, engine oil cooler so and then plus that adds a thermostat too for the engine oil cooler so when you first start the car it doesn't uh, you know it warms the oil up quickly so it gets to operating temperature and uh, so anyway all that is weight uh, plus it's more to tear up because all these coolers have pumps you've got the heat exchangers themselves that could give trouble down the road and you have um, the extra weight of the extra fluid in the lines you got the lines that could go bad in the future so it's really more headache than it's worth if you're not putting the car on a, uh, a road course, basically. Um, just for driving around in the mountains or weekend cruising or anything like that, I, I don't see any need for it. All right, guys, I apologize, but I have simply run out of time and I want to get a video up for you guys. So we're going to call this one part one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button. And hopefully next Sunday, I will have uh, part two up where we'll talk about the Recaros, the Stripe Delete, uh, the electronics package, and anything else that we hadn't covered in this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, leave any comments below, uh, anything you want me to talk about specifically next week, and I'll be sure to put it in there. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Oh, but hang on a minute. I've got some bonus footage I wanted to show y'all right quick. All right, YouTube, I'm about to try something I hadn't done yet. Um, as you can see, I've got the track apps pulled up. Let's go into them. Track apps, you got launch control and all that. I hadn't messed with any of this yet. Uh, I have done the acceleration timer just a few minutes ago, zero to 60, I was able to get a 5.5. Uh, so uh, I think I'm gonna try that again, a zero to 60, but this time I did automatic start the first time, so it just starts when you start rolling. Um, <clears throat> So and, that's, and I got the 5.5. This time I'm going to try the countdown start, which is, uh, well, I'll just show you a Christmas tree uh, pops up here. And uh, now I've never been on a drag strip. I know 
basically how a Christmas tree works, but I'm probably not going to get a very good zero to 60 time. It is currently 73 degrees. The tires are hot, motor's hot, everything's good. So, uh, anyway, we're going to film this and, uh, and see how it turns out. I'm going I'm to give you over to my film crew right quick. All right. So we got a we got a 5.5 on that one. Not the greatest for a Shelby, but uh, you know, not bad for my second time really trying that. So not too good, but not too bad for my first time. We've got uh, another 5.5 seconds. That was using the Christmas tree. So uh, that's that for, for this one. 